Here are two exercises in which you can apply the 1-4-5-1 progression. On the example number one, you're going to be playing a bass line with your left hand while you're playing chords on your right. Just remember to breathe, listen to the playback, and have fun with this exercise. It's very simple. On example number two, we're going to exercise also legato playing as we're playing the melody on our right hand, but this time the chord progression will be on our left hand. Here are a few practice tips to keep in mind as you play these exercises. First of all, breathe in. Take a deep breath and then place your hands on the piano. Double check that your shoulders are in up. Shoulders should be relaxed. Your arm should have a 90 degree angle as you play. Your elbows are very loose and your wrists are really flexible. It is very important that we don't get overwhelmed when learning a piece. If you look at the overall result, you may want to learn the whole thing all at once, but it's best to just bring it measure by measure. So how about we break it down? How about we learn the melody on the right hand first, for example? And there I'm just grabbing a few measures at a time. Just getting used to the finger order that I'm going to be using. And if I feel comfortable with that, I move on to the next part. How about I take those two back to back? Once we know that, how about we get familiar with what is the left hand doing? In this case, you can freely move from your one to the four to the five and back to the one, as long as you put in practice a very smooth voice leading. After practicing that for a while, how about we put both hands together? All right, let's try that again. How about the next section? And now we put them together. In other words, a very consistent practice and solid way of learning a tune is best to break it down in beats by beats, measure by measure, and then put them together until you finally know the piece.